Uh, just a little bit, barely. Uh, kind of. Uh, I see about four specks, five. Oh no, that's a glare. So, a little bit down there on the very bottom of the pit. It's not too bad. Not a lot in there. I mean, there's some, but it's not as inundated as the oil filter looks. Oil filter is the catch point over that. Not a lot going on here. See that oil down there? It's clean. It's oil for the reservoir. It's got some in it. Pull the pump off, let all that drain. It'll drain all that reservoir. There's some in it. Oh my goodness. Let's keep going. That is not good at all. All right, this is surfaced with no gaskets, and I think we're not doing that no more. A lot of them need to be surfaced, but I'm still gonna put gaskets on them. I'm not happy with that, I don't like that. 13,000s from one to another when I go to surface them, but this has already been surfaced, so uh, I don't like that. That, uh, yeah, from now on, there's no more surfacing with no gaskets. Surface and put gaskets. Manifolds all, starter out, battery cable out. Oh my goodness. Ooh wee, okay. Kind of filtered it, but it can still get around the side of it, I imagine. That's not an exact perfect seal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those are big freaking pieces. So he's draining the oil. Tell me. Decided to go ahead and just break it down like normal. I thought about leaving some of the stuff on, leaving the coolant pump on, but no, no. And that little fitting right there that we glue in. Go ahead and take them all out. We'll just, cause we're gonna wanna clean everything. Get all that metal out of there. So it's gotta be completely disassembled. Valve cover looks wonderful. Not anything stuck to it. Well, there probably is minuscule stuff, but you'll be able to tell down in there those little puddles that accumulate in the bottom of the cylinder head. Driver's side. So if you remember Ron, and they had the rockers all messed up. See how that goes all the way out? I mean, it's tight, but it does fit. So they just, he, hopefully he just had those rockers. All kinds of crooked. Yeah, see, they all just, just come out like that. Let the oil out. Let's look close, see, see any metal on it? I think that screen in the oil cooler did a very good job of keeping most of the contaminants out of the high pressure oil system. Take the 13s all the way out, bust all these loose, and then I'll go bust all the rockers loose, and they're just busted loose. Now they're held by the studs only. And I turned it down to six o'clock, and now we'll get the big impact and bang the studs off. We're committed now. Got the glow plugs loose. So now we're gonna pull these heads off and see if uh, all the pistons are still connected to the connecting rods. Here we go. I hit all four of those. And that's number six. They're not even witnessed. Well, they. 
I mean, if they are witness marks, they're barely, look, I'm wiping them away. Let's shot back this. Yeah. So that's number six. Nothing really accumulating around the valves or not, uh, maybe a hair right there, but this was a failed cylinder, kind of, maybe. Maybe. What, four or 5,000 mile head gasket? It's... Oh, look at that, the sealant came apart on the head gasket, see how I can move it. I'm sure we can reuse these head gaskets. <laughs> All looks good. Yeah, it looks good over here. Okay, head gasket looks good too. Oh, I did cut my finger though side of this head is sharp you can tell it touched there because you can see the round of the valve so that one touched a little so did that one right there really no other marks anywhere that's cylinder eight we did wipe on it a lot Here's cylinder four cylinder one Passenger side, let's look over here. It's probably 5,000 miles after we got done building the engine. Might have a little dirt, but it doesn't look like any witness on the passenger side. We just got number six as a suspect. Look at number seven. We have protrusion. Look at number six. We do not. The front crank seal was not leaking. This is the old pump cover. This one was existing on the truck. It got some lines. Definitely could be a lot worse. Probably bonus was all that brass is, I mean, brass is, it's not softer than aluminum, I don't think. It's not wiping off. Oh yeah, it is. See if this regulator is bound up in there from whenever it was in there. So put the finger up in there. Yep, it's not happy, it's stuck up in there. Is that part of a lifter? What the hell is that? Oh, is that the magnet? Did that just come out of oh. that magnet? Oh, I was oh. about to say, <laughs> holy crap. Oh, well, I guess that magnet needs to go away. I thought there was a bolt stuck in there. To remove the wear ring, takes this tool right here. It's 303-762-2, and you put it, and it sandwiches over it, and then you can tighten this down in the crankshaft. You see that? It's got a little groove in it that goes in and grabs it. So we'll put this on and then we can slide the sleeve over it. And then we tighten it up and then crank the wear ring off. That's how you get the wear ring off. See how I put Loctite around it? And then you're left with it inside of there. There you go. Now I normally just put that back in the box and the next time we use it, we'll take that wear ring out. Okay, so now, let's see if I can get it out of here. Shoot. Not very bad at all. That brass is way softer than this pump. Way softer, and it freaking shows. There might be some little wear marks, but there's... Once again, I have seen way worse pumps than this. A little bit of wear going on right there. That oil doesn't look 
like a shiny. This is what happens when you seal it up really good. I got all the bolts out of the front cover. I can't even move it. And it's completely dry everywhere. So that's really nice. But in order to get this off, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Actually, just spend a little time with it. Try to get some of that sealant, I mean. try to force the hand. Maybe go behind it because I can clean the deck. When I'm breaking the front cover. There it goes. bad about that I mean the goal was to not take the front cover off ever again right I think it looked like that from the first we'll winter that sucks. you have to be a lot more careful if you're not going to separate the bed plate we're planning on taking the bed plate apart but you don't want to cut that off there's a little nipple that sticks out of there and when you run the putty knife on the back side it actually shears it we're gonna go ahead and strap it to the frame on this one Julie's gonna raise it up Got a job site all set up here to tear this engine apart. We're gonna drop the pan right now without flipping it over, like what Ron was talking about. The risk of scratching the deck. Oil the pan surface. I don't want to hit anything inside of there. I guess this is a love-hate relationship with sealant, huh? I mean, I love it when it don't leak. It's probably about to fall down. You might want to go back. Okay. about to get it like right now yep okay holy goodness let's just set that right there We did that, didn't we? Damn. Well, crap. Now we got this one to get off too. Let's dump this. I was trying to see what was in the pickup tube. Anything? Mm, can't really tell. I need somewhere to dump this. Can you bring it to me so I can dump it right here? I can try. Just get all this metal out of here, huh? Look at that. It looks like the rod home pan. We know it's here. And we gotta see where it came from. Let's put it upside down and see what the heck happened. Where are we at? Two, four, six. This one. It was the lightest rod. We got pretty good side clearance. Well now, isn't this a twisted turn of events? Number six had the protrusion off. You wanna see? Oh, ho, 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 no. Remember I said that the bearing, I said it back in the last video that once you get past the bearing, it gets a little funky colored. Yeah, that is a spun rod bearing right there. Damn. Let's get it out. Ooh. 
How's the bush knit? Um. Uh, there's that material. That's what I was talking about right there. It does start to, it looks like it in the bearing, so. Let's pull it out real quick. Okay. That is absolutely phenomenally beautiful. Okay. Well, can you still see through the oil hole? Yeah. The holes lined up, the bushing didn't spin. It actually looks phenomenal. Rod bearing, not a rod bushing. Look at that. that this is number five. It got a little bit over there where it was touching the edge of it, but look at all that. That's beautiful. We had one crappy bearing, seriously. we are look at that let's look sideways at it completely chrome look at that one exactly halfway which is right where it hits right where it's pushing I mean, oil delivery? What do y'all think? I'm gonna listen to your ideas on this one because let's throw me all your ideas. You seen this before? Rod bearings are the last part of the line. Did this happen with that low, low pressure regulator? Let's pull all these out and make sure all the bushings still look good because the low pressure regulator is still stuck inside the pump, inside the, the front cover. I mean, if we had a, I don't know, I mean, enough oil to keep the pump running, but not enough to um, oil the rods. Let's pull these out and make sure that all our bushings look good. Let's do that. Like any of these spun. Last one out. No, 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 no. Well, so if they. Okay, so we don't need to really bang on our rod bushing procedure, actually, just our rod bearing procedure. Sorry guys. Failure analysis. All of the bearings showed signs of weakness, but only one gave way. Did the one give way and it caused the wear in all the other ones from the metal going through it? I don't know. That's what we need to find out. Oh, I thought I was done, but I'll show you one more thing. I think I know why. Look at this, all of the odd side took the skirt, took the coating off the skirt. You son of a gun. Let's see if you can, you can still see some of the little ridges going sideways. All the odd ones. I can't feel that, I mean that, Let's look at the side of it. There's like, I mean, you can't feel it at all. What are you guys' thoughts on that? See, look at there, you can still see the little patch. You can see where my honer stopped. That is a tragedy. All of them on this side. This thing spins great too. Look. It spins great, like really good. All right, so. So the honer did not go all the way down. Are you serious? What a drag. So obviously the cylinder did not get honed all the way down and it's probably that freaking much. We need to hone this out. 
a little more, but we can't hone it out because it'll make the size bigger. So that is, I mean, I don't even know what to say to that. That this, I must have, I mean, I cut them all at the same time and I did, I don't adjust the height between it. We have got a spun rod bearing and some skirt damage. Give me your thoughts on that. show you all this if uh, you think it might be an oil delivery issue or if we had a sizing issue only one so if it is oil delivery i mean that's kind of crappy that it's only one so all right let me have it guys give me all your thoughts and let's get this fixed <laughs>